First game today was refereed by the man who did the World Cup in 2010, Howard Webb from England. Um, it was a fairly easy game. A couple of things I would just like to point out. He took a drink of water from one of the physios uh, who came on the field to treat one of their players. I would discourage that because it could be construed as showing favouritism to one of the teams or the other. Second thing was he correctly suspended play when a beach ball came out of the field and that's the correct thing to do. The last thing was there was a bit of confusion as to whether it was a free kick or a throw in and players didn't know what was happening. The referee, in my opinion, added to the confusion by not being more direct and more concise about the actual thing. Eventually it went to a throw in and play was resumed. An easy game um, overall for Howard Webb. The game today was between Uruguay and England. Um, potentially difficult game, refereed by Mr. Caballa from Spain. He correctly uh, interpreted the ball-to-hand, hand-to-ball controversy that's been going on for a long time. Uh, he was correct. It certainly was hand-to-ball. The second issue was he, he definitely he correctly booked uh, Stephen Gerrard of England uh, for a tackle, for a foul, and, but allowed him to walk away when he was giving him the yellow card. Now, I wish referees would refrain from doing that because it, it's, it's the player showing contempt for the yellow card. Overall, it was a difficult game. It had the potential to be quite explosive, but he handled it well. Uh, but I did think he lost a little bit of confidence as the game wore on. The game of the day was between Japan and Greece. I thought the referee started off very, very well. Um, he had a couple of yellow cards early on, and then he red-carded the Greek captain, which was correct for a second yellow card, and I'm delighted he had the guts to do that. From then on, I thought he went downhill a bit. As It's as if he had lost a bit of confidence. Uh, some of the commentators, although I don't listen to them too much, but they were saying that he appeared to be giving more free kicks to the Greeks than they were entitled to, uh, perhaps conscious of the red card that he had given. I thought he did go downhill as the game progressed and uh, appeared to lose a little bit of control of the game, a lot of silly tackles going in, a lot of players diving. Uh, for that reason, I, I marked him down uh, on, on his overall mark. Thank you for watching my videos on kickshot.org. While you're on the site, uh, check out the, there's a fantastic game there called Kickshot Board Games. It's very, very educational. It explains how to do bicycle kicks and free kicks and even explains some of the laws of the game. So it's very, very entertaining, particularly for family time and for children. So check it out. It's, uh, it's the board game on kickshot.org.